And then beautifully enough that they could also make uh, capture carbon, like sequester carbon, through the production of carbon precipitates. So then there is this work on uh, photosynthetic uh, living materials that I, I found very inspiring and very creative. It's a very different approach to bioprinting. Uh, basically, what the researchers read here was that inspired by Joshua Trees, they created these um, very spongy-like structures. Difficult to manufacture with many other technologies, but fundamental so that you could have um, the, like, the bacteria in it pulling the liquid and also enough air and circulation so that there could also be light to, for all the bacteria in, into these constructs. And basically what they showed was that they could develop these materials with, with uh, cells, like with bacterial cells already inside, that they could grow for up to one year. And then beautifully enough that they could also make uh, capture carbon, like sequester carbon, through the production of carbon precipitates. So like the non-spiky uh, uh, structures that you see in this uh, SEM image, but also through the accumulation of biomass. So basically, what uh, it's a beautiful work uh, in collaboration with their Department of Architecture, uh, in which they develop new materials that create calcinate, uh, ca carbonates sorry, from 3D printed structures. So a new approach to maybe eventually fix fixing our buildings with 3D printed bacterial structures.